you guys, it's Val. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial on this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. It's basically my everyday makeup look to be honest, but with a bright pop of orange, which is really on trend this season. I kept the eyeshadow look pretty simple, but I did bold brows and also the bright orange. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm starting off with a bare face. As you can see, I have some terrible breakouts going on but we're gonna try our best to cover it. Now, since this is a tutorial based on my everyday makeup routine, I did wanna use the foundation that I am currently loving the most, and it is the CoverGirl Outlast, the Fabulous 3-in-1. I have two shades right here, 805 Ivory, and then I have 832 Nude Beige. I actually mixed these two to get the right shade because this one oxidizes a little bit too dark for me, and then this one makes me look like a ghost. And I like to pat it onto my face, instead of picking it up with a brush. And to blend this in, I'm gonna be using my Sigma Flat Top F80 brush. And if the foundation looks a little bit light, guys, it's normal, cause this foundation is known uh, for oxidizing a little bit darker than it is. I'm popping it on my lips too, cause that's gonna make my lip color last a whole lot longer. While that is settling on the skin, I'm going to move on to concealer. First, I'm going to conceal my active acne breakouts, and I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have it in NC20 for my face. I'm just going to dab it on my breakouts. Using my Sigma Precision Round P82 brush, I mentioned this in my current favorites precisely for covering acne. So it's really easy. I'm just going to pat this onto the skin and blend it out. And this has been my favorite go-to concealer for acne as well as my under eye area. Now the next step that I like to use to conceal my active acne breakouts is go in with my Bare Minerals Original Foundation as a concealer and I use the color Fairly Light. And the brush that I'm going to be using is the Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer. Pick up some product, lightly get rid of the excess and then I'm just going to pack it on top of the concealer that I already applied. This together with that MAC concealer is amazing if you have really bad breakouts. Moving on to under eye concealer, like I said, I use MAC Pro Longwear in NW15. The biggest problem that I have with this concealer is the amount that it pumps out. So I'm gonna be using a beauty blender to blend out the concealer. The first time I used this concealer, I was kind of disappointed because I had a little bit of trouble because it was creasing on me um, and it was because I used a brush and apparently I didn't work fast enough with it um, so it did crease on me but I find that using a beauty blender is the best way um, to blend out my under eye concealer especially the MAC Pro Longwear I am going to quickly set it with my e.l.f. high definition powder using my Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush not dragging it because I don't want to disturb the concealer. I am going to be setting it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I have hit pan on this a while back. It's one of my favorite powders and I'm using a Real Techniques powder brush. This brush is super soft, I love it. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer I'm using my Sigma Small Contour F05 brush. This is the brush I usually use when I want a stronger contour because it's tiny. I'm just going to suck in my cheeks and start blending the product in, placing it around my forehead and then around my jawline. Now to bronze up my whole face and my neck, I use my Real Techniques um, blush brush. I usually use my Laguna for all over bronzing, but I don't want any shimmer on my face today because of my breakout. Now that I'm done blending that in, I'm going to move on to blush and I'll be using my MAC Melba blush, which is a recent purchase. It's kind of like a peachy pink shade. I love this color for every day because it looks like a very natural flush. Using my Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 and I'm using this brush because it is the softest one I own. Apart from my Real Techniques blush brush, which is extremely soft, but I do use this specifically for bronzer. For my brows, I use uh, MAC Omega eyeshadow. It's a matte, and this is what I start off with. And I'm using a crown brush. I think this is an angled liner crown brush. Fill them in a little bit with 
this powder before going in with an eye pencil. Now since I'm doing a bright, bold lip today, I like to balance out the look by um, filling in my brows very thickly. After using Omega Eyeshadow, I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz eye pencil. I use the color ooh, Medium Ash. I always start by defining my brows underneath and then I'm just filling them in. Then I use the spoolie that comes with the Brow Wiz. Just blend it out and keep filling in and blending out until I get my desired brow look. Go up like the actual growth of my hair and then outward. So now that my brows are all filled in, I know they might be looking a little crazy because they are very bold, but they're not cleaned up just yet. I do like to use concealer for that and I'll be using the MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NC20 with my Real Techniques Detailer Brush. And I'm just going to go underneath my brow to clean up the shape. And then what I like to do is just use my ring finger and just pat this on on top of the brow to clean that up as well. And then blending it in. Then I like to use what's left on the brush and go over the front part a little bit to clean it up even further. Now that the edges of my brows are all cleaned up, I'm going to go in with a highlight shade and this is from the Chocolate Bar Palette. I'll be using this matte shade right here. Using my e.l.f. Professional Shadow Brush, which is my favorite um, for applying a highlight to my brow because it's very stiff. Now for my eye look, I'm gonna start off with my Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Spread this all over the lens. And a little bit does go a long way. I like to apply my blending color first before applying my lid color and I'm going to be using um, this shade right here from the Chocolate Bar Palette using a Sigma Blending E25 brush. This is like a travel size and I'm just putting this on my crease and blending the shade. Also blending it into my outer corner. It's a very simple eye look. I'm going to go in with the shade next to it from the Chocolate Bar Palette. Using my Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. Again, this is a travel size. Now I'm just gonna pack it onto my lid. You really don't have to be too careful with this look because it's really light. Going back to my Sigma Blending Brush E55. Blend the shade with whatever's left on my brush. As inner corner highlight, I'm gonna be using this pinky shade right here at the corner of the palette with my Sigma Pencil E30 brush. Now for a little bit of definition on my lower lash line, I really don't want a lot going on. I'm not even going to use eyeliner for this look. I'm going to go in with this shade right here next to um, the lid shade that we use. And I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques Accent Brush, which is perfect for this purpose. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes with my Tarte. Um, eyelash curler and I'm gonna be using my favorite mascara which is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. I personally love this mascara because it's extremely lengthening and volumizing. Now this is the finished eye look. I did um, apply a very light coat of mascara on my bottom lashes so they would pop out a little bit. So now for the really fun part which is the lipstick. I'm gonna be using Max Pro Longwear Lip Cream in Good To Go. This is a new purchase. I absolutely love this shade. If you're looking for a great um, orange, actually orange and not red shade, this is perfect. I'm gonna be using a lip brush for my edges because I don't have a lip liner. This color doesn't usually bleed but it's very bright so I want to be really precise with it and this brush is from the Badger set from a crown brush you can really use this as sheer or as heavy as you want since this is the main feature of this look I'm gonna go a little bolder with the color then if you want to finish up the look you can go back with your detailer concealer brush and go around the edges I'm not gonna do that because this lipstick does not bleed whatsoever I absolutely love it and this is the finished makeup look. As you can see, it's a very bright pop of color. You can add eyeliner if you want to, maybe even tight line or 
do a little bit of a cat eye. I like to keep it simple because it's easier to do on the go. Obviously, if you guys don't have to do a full coverage foundation like I did right now, it's pretty quick and easy. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. I know I haven't been doing a lot of tutorials, but I will be trying to post more up soon. I kind of figured out my setup now, so it's going to be a lot easier. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys rock this look, and I will see you next time. Bye.